Ladies and gentlemen, this is my video for the uh, Savage Vegeta's uh, building competition. Today I'm showing off my oil refinery. Let's get into it, shall we? So first things first, we have our uh, signage. Watsonburg Refineries Incorporated, or WRI for short. No smoking on these premises. All personnel must follow all safety guidelines. All personnel must wear PPE in the refinery. English is not a very strong language of mine, apparently. All right, so we're going to close our door here. We're going to go ahead and grab some personal protective equipment here. All right, kit, gas mask. We are safe right now. Look at that. Mm. Well, set's fireproof too. See, I told you, this is best... All right, so we're going to turn on some stuff here. Our crude oil heater power, our turbine power, our flare tower power, and our C4 power. Uh, we could turn on our alarm system, but we're not going to right now. All right, tour time. Okay, so first things first, our fuel comes in from our... Uh, our crude oil comes in from our crude oil inlet ports here, which then go get stored into these two tanks here, which then gets sent to our oil heaters on each side. And our hot crude oil gets sent to our oil refinery which is then breaks it down to its respectable components heavy oil napatha light oil and petroleum gas and all of that stuff gets sent to our chemical factory here our heavy oil goes in here makes it a bitumen and industrial oil our napatha goes in here and creates d heating oil and diesel our light oil processing makes diesel and kerosene and our uh, petroleum gas makes liquid petroleum gas we also have our uh, water to hydrogen peroxide that is for another process i gonna worry about that right now over here we have our power generation station right here we have two boilers working in tangent most are two different steam turbines here Each side it is creating a really good amount of power honestly we have our water here this is our water tank we actually don't need a infinite water thing because this already just like it's a closed loop so it keeps going back so our low steam pressure goes from our steam turbines here and goes into our auxiliary cooling tower all right so now we have our primary cr catalytic cracking tower this uh, refines our uh, bitumen into crude oil aromatic hydrocarbons and low pressure steam that will all uh, that is also connected to our auxiliary cooling tower over here over here we have our secondary catalytic cracking tower this takes our crude oil from our primary tower here and converts that into cracked oil petroleum gas and low pressure steam which then goes out from here goes into our heater here and then goes into our oil refinery here which then makes cracked napatha cracked light oil aromatic hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons now we need the unsaturated hydrocarbons for a clear uh, process. We're slowly getting there. So over here now we have our ore acidizer, which takes our niter ore here and breaks it down into niter crystals. When that, what that will do is that will go through a centrifuge here, just like right now. We'll go through a centrifuge and then get, get turned into powder, niter powder. And that will get sent directly into our chemical plant here. There are unsaturated hydrocarbons now make bars of c4 so that's that whole chemical process we are going to go back outside now we're not quite done over here we have our security uh, we have our uh, um we have our refinery security office building here so this is like we're gonna have two people in here watching our cameras here make sure we have cameras look at that that's very nice you can watch our cameras to see if there's any accidents going on within the facility if there's an accident going on you set your alarm switch She's located on the top of that tower over here, as you can see. We're going to turn that off, because that's annoying. <laughs> all right, now we're going to go up to our tower here. This is our observation tower to make sure all of our processes are working fine. As it is actually beautiful from up here. You can pretty much see most of the refinery. And last but not least, we have all of our outputs from our chemical factory over here, which goes directly. We have industrial go oil going into here and also over here. So we have industrial oil, heating oil, diesel, kerosene, and petroleum gas. And where that that goes once it gets into here is it will take that and put it out I'll, I'll put it over here to the exportation part of our refinery here industrial oil heating oil diesel kerosene and liquid propane or liquid natural petroleum liquid petroleum gas go into these tanker trucks here and we'll get delivered to its destination this truck over here is to bring our nitre from our suppliers 
mind you, it's not the best vehicle, but it's certainly a vehicle. But we had to put a budget cut somewhere, and I'd rather put in transportation than, like, actual safety measures for the facility. Oh, I forgot to list off our safety features. So we have our gas mask filter combo, our high-performance hazmat kit, which is flamers fireproof, so that's good. We have our gas sensor, so if there actually is a gas leak anywhere, this thing will actually start beeping. We also have our fire extinguisher. Boom. That's the good stuff right there. So if there actually is a fire, then good. Okay, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.